welcome to Laser Packer YouTube Allison channel. And previously in the Facebook group or in the YouTube shorts, some of the users will ask, well, how to engrave on the glass? And so Allison today will just show you four ways to engrave on the glass. And if you find the video is helpful, remember to subscribe to my channel. And the first way is to use a laser engraving paper. As you can see, it has got a variety of colors to choose from. And today I want to choose the color green. I usually purchase this engraving paper on the internet or in local shops. So you can purchase this on the Amazon store and just search laser engraving paper then options will appear. Use the scissors to cut the area you want. And then soak it into water. And when this engraving paper is fully soaked, you can just peel it off. But here, you just need to remember, peel it off gently and make sure do not damage this engraving paper gently here and peel it off and then just place it onto the surface of the engraving material but here you just need to remember you just need to gently squeeze out the bubble and make it stick on this plate here so just like this all right and make sure to place it gently and do not damage it so first you just need to connect our cell phone with the laser packer 4 and click it to connect the machine here and then you need to upload the picture you desire and we choose the laser packer album and we choose the butterfly I have already updated to the 655 version and I need to choose the BMW not the Disney mode and then I need to preview so as you can see when I do the preview here I will just adjust the size of the butterfly and then you just need to align the two red dots okay so as you can see that now the butterfly is just placed on the center of this plate and then we'll go for the next part choose 2k and then we'll send the file here and then previously I used when I used to laser engrave on the glass I used 110 the depth is 10 and that's our 653 version and now I have changed to 655 version so I use the parameter transfer here because previously the depth is 10 and then I will transfer to 81, so I will use 81. And the second way is to use a marker and to paint on the surface of this glass. And remember, when you paint on it, paint it slowly and evenly. Okay, now we need to upload the picture here. It's in our image and then inside. And then we will, you just need to notice that. Always remember to open the road extension first before you use the road extension. And then as you can see that, you can do change it to BMW and preview. Okay, you need, also need to test the diameter of this. I will use a vanilla clipper to just test the, the diameter of this glass. And as you can see that 72.9 and then I will input 
72 and I and then we'll go for the next part but before we go for the next part you just need to notice that if it's in the right direction so when you I also have one tip to tell you if it is the right direction for you because when you face this machine that's the direction you are going to have so that means that the queen will be like the direction will be like this so you need to change it and rotate and we will just rotate the direction here okay so as you can see if you rotate for 270 and then the queen will be just right on it so that's the direction that we want so we will just use this direction and I will do the preview if you cannot see the engraving area clear you can use the paper here to let the laser rest on the surface of the paper so that you can see that if the red two dots align with each other or the engraving area of this pattern and then it's okay and we will scroll again okay and then we will just send the files and when you choose the diameter here I want to choose 70 because 70 is enough for the glass here because this is not thick enough and after you clean the marker the surface will be like this when the laser goes through the surface of the glass because the glass is transparent it will leave no mark on this glass and when you place the dark paper under the dark paper will absorb the laser so it will just leave the mark on this glass okay so input the key here and then choose the BMW and then you can go for the preview And then just adjust the size of the engraving area well and you can adjust the height here to make the two red dots align with each other and then you can just start your engraving choose the parameters here and as you can see here because we have updated to the 4000 millimeters per second so go for 81 here and previously if the depth is 10 let me show you here that will be 81 previously with the version 653 I use the depth of 10 and then we'll start and the fourth method is to use a tempera paint to spray on the surface of the glass and later I will just demonstrate this one for you spray on the surface of the glass fast and evenly as you can see it's pretty fast here after you spray the paint on the surface of the glass you also need to test the diameter of this glass bottle and that's 80 So this is the final glass that I have engraved and I especially love this uh, pattern and also the, I think this is a really, I, I just leave some black paint on it because I want the pattern to just be a little antique and different from the white ones. So I think this is a pretty cool, you can just drink great beer with it. And just now I have mentioned four methods to engrave on the glass. And if you have a small business and also want to try to laser engrave on the glass, go for it. And just in the comment section, feel free to ask Allison about laser engraving and cutting problems. We're going to see you next time. Bye.